Ah, here we go. Check in. Well, would you take a look at this? A visitor to this shit heap. <laughs> if it's the money you're after, go ahead. Take it. I don't care anymore. Well, don't just stand there. I said you can take the damn money. Leave me alone. Ah, that's not normally how these exchanges work. Normally we give you the money and you give us rooms. You don't seem to be too filled with a Christmas spirit. whoop de fucking do it's a nice guy, huh? A nice guy's come to the Alpine Lodge. You'll have to wipe your own ass here, your honor. <laughs> Please, your highness, excuse me. But if you're not here to take my money or pillage the lodge, why are you here? Is it finally tourist season again? Yes? I'm here to rent some rooms for you, you douche canoe. You're open, aren't ya? Oh, yes, we're open. But I must have missed the second coming. Because customers to this lodge are a damn miracle. At least with the money, I'll be able to buy some sugar bombs. What'll it be, then? Three, four guests? Five hundred. Yep, give me a second. <laughs> he's, uh, he's processing right now. I don't think that... F five? <laughs> Five hundred guests? Sweet Jesus. Are you pulling my chains here? Here's a down payment. Two hundred caps? That'll suffice, right? This is amazing. The Alpine Lodge, at full occupancy. That means I gotta go get the rooms ready. Oh boy, I have to rehire the chef. <laughs> I have to get my Casador guards back. This is invigorating. But here, take the key to room 23 so you can drop off your stuff. It's on the top floor of the Blue Pineview building. I have to start getting ready. All right. Nice. Woo! Nice. All right. Look. Stop following me so close. Piano. Now is not the time to be playing Beethoven's Eighth Symphony. Well, I guess this seems promising. Mind you, there wasn't much conversation. If we weren't telling the truth, He's an awful gullible man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Luckily for him, we never tell a lie. Uh, I'm going to room 23. Look, two sinks. Oh. How opulent. I... Do it one more time. Do it one more time, see what fucking happens, Humphrey. <laughs> it's not too shabby in here, as a matter of fact. Cleaner than most of the places I've seen around here. It must be that cool, crisp mountain air. So, what's next? Well, depending on where our folks are coming from, they must have already started the journey. Whether it be today or last month, they'll know exactly where to go. Since the Mojave Passage is a certified NCR travel point, and is printed on every NCR civvy map within the Tri-State, thing is, once they reach the passage, they won't have a clue where to go. But I'm sure we're fine for now. Uh, so I'm going to stock dear Barney and I up on these printed posters, and we're going to post them around some towns. Okay. The current address is this lodge. And for you, well, what I'm about to ask of you is going to be very strange and hypocritical from me. But it's most absolutely necessary. Do you want me to kill some prostitutes? Or do you want us to kill some Nazi? How about some Nazi prostitutes? I don't know if I'm turned on or disgusted by the prospect of Nazi prostitutes. <laughs> I think disgusted. Scaroused. <laughs> Fear boner. <laughs> I'd prefer the entire world be run on hot chocolates and candy canes, son. But the fact of the matter is that this is a harsh world. And harsh worlds run on nothing but money. Money makes the world go round and round. I'm going to need to... Borrow some money from some of the most wealthy enterprises in this small desert to realize our holiday goals, you see. And what enterprise is wealthier than the first place I asked you to visit? The Ultralux. You, <laughs> you want me to rob <laughs> the Ultralux? I want you to bust your ass in there, grab the guap, and cap some bitches. <clears throat> I mean, yes. What? I need you to calmly take down the necessary personnel and relocate their physical funds back to us. Now, have faith. I wouldn't ask you to perform such a task if I wasn't sure of its circumstances. No. Circumstances that dearest Humphrey is very well acquainted with. So, go ahead and give him a talk. He'll take you through all the necessary preparations for the heist. Afterwards, he'll need to head for the passage. Once you're done and all is clear, Bring the cash to Novak. It's Barney and I's last stop on this poster-posting trip. I... What, what, we, we have, like, an unlimited supply of money. Why can't I just give him money? 
Yeah, why do we have to rob the goddamn Ultralux anyway? What we want to do here in terms of the holiday celebrations, friend, is all a complete fairy tale without money. Christmas spirit isn't enough. Paying for these rooms, renting a venue, paying the staff and buying food, it all costs a fortune to actually make it happen. So you must understand that rubbing a casino for most of its worth is to be done with the warmth of Christmas <laughs> close to your heart. Yeah. <laughs> all right, heist it is then. Good show. Speak to Humphrey and he'll take you to one of his dealers and get you stocked up for the show. Now Barney and I are going to start putting up these posters. I wish you the best of luck. Santa Speed. Uh, between the two of us, one of us has the, the easier job. <laughs> yeah. I think it's him. Glad to see we made it up to Martin in one piece. Sounds like we're gonna rob the Ultralux and you're gonna need our help. Yeah. See, I was on a hustle with the place about 12 years ago when they was just renovating the place. Them got a hell bunch of us lowlifers up and paid us shit rates to install taps and shit paper holders for them bathrooms. They done employed me to scrub the mold at them carpets there. And while I was doing my morning shift in the GE's office, I stumbled upon a fine bear. I remember getting down on my knees and peeking sure hell in the wall. I saw a bunch of armed guards in a long airway with an elevator. I'm certain that that's where the vault would be. And you can see it from within the general manager's office. I can understand half of your words. But before any of that can happen, you gotta get yourself in there and... Buy yourself some time to actually find the vaults all way. And then get down by shooting folk. <laughs> shooting folks with a silent gun. Come on. A silent gun with taser delivery rounds. So you want us to get some taser delivery rounds, eh? <laughs> I think he said taser delivery rounds. Well, where's we gonna find these arms at, yeah? My head bro, Kozar. He's Kozar? been time making all sorts of nerdy contraptions underneath the Ripcom building south of Vegas. I know he'll be more than happy to help, so let's get a move on. I have to get to the Northern Passage and wait for early birds when we're done. Wait for early birds with a gun? Is that what he said? I have no fucking clue what he said! <laughs> Let me just look at my quest log. Maybe that will have transliterated some of this. Speaker at Humphrey, then meet his arms dealer. We already did the former, now the latter. Who's if I get out here and his, his arms dealer turns out to be a guy just selling drugs and literal human arms, <laughs> I will be very displeased. I will be bemused. I will have a hearty laugh about that. I'll think it's funny and then I will beat him to death with one of those arms. Um, I think this is it. Well, well, what do you know? It's Humphrey Selassie, fresh no homeless moocher. Good to see you. I take it you're here looking for a weapon? Ah, oh, you know me too well, Ersky. <laughs> My friend Hurst got a heist and he needs your special shock pistol. I'm sure you don't mind sending me again. What? Send me. Hi, we'll do the conversating. <laughs> you're looking for my grade A in bullet taser delivery system? Yes. <laughs> I must concur that you have good taste. It's one of my finest inventions. Forgot to introduce myself. I'm Erskine Kozart, techno thief and pseudo energy weapon expert. Ooh. How will this fancy shotgun work? Think of it like those hand shockers from before the war, but within a bullet. Replace the button with a barb, and the shock is a thousandfold. It's basically the fusion core of an overcharged microfusion cell attached to a conductive barb that sticks out of the bullet when fired. So it's a taser gun. Upon impact, the electrical surge blows your nervous system like a light bulb filament, assuring an unconscious state for at least eight hours. Those are some fancy words. Now, it takes a painstakingly long time to make each bullet, so I've got only 30 for you. You're not going to be allowed to miss as many this time around, Zach. Crap. So I don't have to pay? If you're a friend of Humphrey, then you're a friend of mine. And friends of mine get my full discount. I wouldn't say friend. Well, here they are. I had them out already. Just be very careful not to miss. All right, I will keep that one in mind, and thank you for the free bullets. Waste no more time. 
but be careful. All right. I will be killing you and taking your title later, because Techno Thief sounds pretty cool. Hello, game. Okay, I think I'm ready. Hold on, I'm not done talking. Look at my lips. It's still flapping. Okay, now that I'm done speaking to you, you can speak back at me. How's it going? But I still don't understand why everybody's so calm about robbing a casino. Because when people make big deals out of it, your mind is tricked. It knows something of magnitude's gonna happen, and that leads to stress. The rule of time for us less fortunate is to do it like it's legal. Ah, yes, legal. It's easier going to point B, doing some chores, than returning to A, than it is to go and rob one of the most wealthy organizations in the world. You cannot <laughs> say that word. Then why a pink bottle to us gets? Which? I've got to go to the northern passage to greet any early guests. You do the job, and then meet Nick and Novak. Then we'll all regroup again. I can feel my brain atrophying every time you speak. What, what about when I steal it? You just want me to walk out of there? As horrible as the legions are, the casinos keep a card of their monies in legion orifices. For those trading chips in for the legion money. Right, I got that. This is what you'll be stealing. Not that bulky it's your cash is bulk kept. Plus for value versus weight, Legion is superior. Ten orthoses for a thousand caps. Yeah, but not a lot of people use Legion Aurelius. This is, this is... I guess you, we could just melt it down for the for the metal it's made out of. Why wouldn't we take the NCR paper money? That's even lighter. Good. Have fun. How could we not? Oh, Christmas music. That's perfectly <laughs> fitting. Guess let's go rob a fucking casino. <laughs> wouldn't be the first time, would it? No, actually it wouldn't. Yeah, time to rob this casino. You know, I'm glad that the little pistol they gave me, the little shock pistol, is like 22, because otherwise, I don't know how I'm supposed to get it in here. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your Yes! Weapon? All right, so let's see, we got some C4. <laughs> you smuggled in 21 pounds of C4? Uh, no, each brick is about three pounds, oh, so. so 60 pounds of C4. I smuggled in 60 pounds of C4, two sticks of dynamite, 10 fragmentation grenades, 12 fragmentation grenade, or er, 12 fragmentation mines, an incendiary grenade, a gyrojet, a plasma grenade, a plasma mine, 11 powder charges, two pulse mines, Stanley, and a time bomb, and a partridge in a pear tree. Wow, he does a terrible job at searching you for your guns. Um, wait, where's that 22? He didn't... They took the 22 out of your They took the stupid 22 pistol! How are you gonna shock people and not kill them? Are you serious? You... <laughs> how are you... How are you gonna do this? It's not classified as a holdout weapon? Just give it to me, put it in my inventory, we'll get yeah, it in there. We'll do that. Hello, sir. Carry on. Oh god! Oh god! No! No! Why are they shooting at me? No, what the fuck? Good god, what happened? Why did this happen? We've murdered them all. That wasn't supposed to happen! But, yet it did. But, yet it did. We're here to rob your casino. Mr. Baines? Mr. Baines, no, please. No, you were please, such Please, Mr. Baines! You were such a There's nice- There's no reason to be violent! You were such a nice guy! No please, no! No, this, no! <laughs> I don't know if we were supposed to murder everybody in the Ultralux, but that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. How's the shock pistol working out for you? Um, it keeps missing really bad. Oh no, we can't have that. You only got 30 bullets for it. Okay, use the shotgun. gun. Yeah, we're actually not killing people. Non-violent approach. If only, oh, if only we had more ammo. We wouldn't have to kill anybody ever again. Hi, there you go. <laughs> And you, my friend. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now. Yay! Look at all this money. Ooh, I do like money. So now let's walk out of the casino all casual like. Yeah. Pretend we never shot nobody and our pockets certainly aren't weighted down with 500 pounds of gold. Yeah, clearly they are not. Why would they be? They'll never suspect perfectly normal Zack. Oh, Zach, why are your pockets so heavy with caps and coins? Is it because you won big at the tables today? Yes, indeed it is, sir. Then not, there's nothing suspicious about this. Just me, Zach, leaving the casino with my winnings. And yes, 
Normal Zack lives his life in third person. <laughs> who walks out of the casino in his Desert Ranger combat armor with Cass on his arm looking like a badass. And then the moment is ruined by that bald guy walking between you. Damn. All right, let's head on back to the Alpine Lodge. If we get back there and he's wearing Santa Claus power armor. You, you keep saying that, I think you gotta lower your expectations. <sighs> Probably. What if we get back there and he's wearing a Nazi hat? <laughs>